So we can trace through this algorithm like so. We start at the start state, and these colors again are um, corresponding to the um, three analyses of the English sentence time flies like an error that we saw before. Of course, we want the red sentence to win. We have some states here in light gray, but we'll ignore those as um, we will assume that their probabilities are zero. So when we go to the first word, um, our idiomatic reading of time flies like an arrow and the um, noun noun compound reading of time flies like an arrow both go to the noun state. However, the um, imperative command reading of time flies like an arrow goes to the verb state. As we move on to the next transition, um, both the compound noun reading and the imperative reading shift to the noun state for flies. However, our preferred idiomatic reading um, interprets flies as a verb. Moving on further, the compound noun reading, still lacking a verb, has decided that light must be a verb and move to that state. However, um, the imperative reading and our preferred um, idiomatic reading have decided that like is a preposition. Moving on to the next state, and all three of our readings have reached consensus and decided that um, and is a article and moves to that state. And finally, all three readings decide that arrow must be a noun and move there. We finish the algorithm by transitioning to the end state. And the red arrow sequence represents the very best parse, the idiomatic reading of time flies like an arrow as meaning time moves very swiftly. So we've shown how we can use hidden Markov models to decode um, i.e. to tag part of speech sequences, giving the appropriate um, probability matrices, but we have not discussed how to learn those matrices. That takes machine learning. So um, time preventions, uh, time restrictions will prevent me from uh, describing this in great detail, but a brief overview of how you train um, a hidden Markov model is as follows. Initial part of speech transition probabilities and word observation likelihoods are learned from a tag for corpus. And the forward-backward ba algorithm is used to iteratively tune these initial values through the method of likelihood maximization. The forward-backward algorithm combines two um, algorithms, named appropriately the forward algorithm and the backward algorithm, to um, calculate the necessary probabilities. The forward algorithm is actually a variant of the Viterbi al algorithm, as we will see shortly. The backwards algorithm is very similar, only it moves through the um, HMM lattice in the opposite direction. So we have our Viterbi algorithm um, pseudocode, and we note that in our nested for loops, we're taking um, maximum values of the previous Viterbi matrix and argmaxes. However, the only difference in the forward algorithm is instead of taking maxes, we're going to sum over all possible paths. We're doing this so that we can assign a likelihood um, to the sentence, the English sentence that we are looking at. Also note that because this is not a search algorithm, because it's an expectation maximization algorithm, we no longer need to keep track of a best path through the matrix. So we're going to use these forward algorithms and backward algorithms to learn both the probabilities of transitioning um, through the matrix, i.e. moving from state S1 here to Sj, and we'll note that that's the um, transition probability multiplied by the um, probability of generating the observed OT plus 1. Um, we use the forward algorithm for the first half of the sentence up to state S1 here, and the backward algorithm for the second half of the sentence from Sj. And in a similar manner, we want to learn the state Sj's probability by combining the forward and backward algorithm's results. In summary, we've shown that uh, dynamic programming, al programming algorithms are a powerful technique that allow, for more that allow for more efficient computation. In particular, they're often used to reduce exponential problems to polynomial. We've also seen that the dynamic Viterbi algorithm allows for deficient, I'm sorry, efficient decoding with hidden Markov models. 
And while I did not discuss it in very much detail, we also showed that the forward backward algorithm driven probability estimation is central to many machine learning methods, including hidden Markov models, maximum entropy, and conditional random fields. Thank you for listening to my presentation. The resources used in constructing it were Introduction to Algorithms by Corman et al. for the Dijkstra algorithm examples, and Speech and Language Processing for the Hidden Markov Model examples.